Good morning, everyone. We are out in the woods today. I'm out here with my brother, Micah, and Guac. And we are in pursuit of salamanders today, but it's gonna be really nice, so hopefully there'll be some snakes out too, but I'm not gonna count on it, it's still early. But uh, hopefully we will at least get some good salamander action today, so I'll keep you guys posted. We're in an area that I haven't spent much time, so I'm excited to see what we can turn up. Use All right, guys, this is kind of the habitat we're going to be working with today. Probably going to be expecting the usual suspects on the amphibian front. But we w really kind of are hoping to turn up a mud salamander today. And there are spring salamanders in this area, too. So, but really, we're just going to see what we can turn up. And I'm sure we'll see some interesting stuff. As I was expecting, some nice spotted salamander egg masses out here. These have been around a while. Um, see if I can get a closer look for you. You can see there's little salamanders developing in there. These eggs are glowing nicely too. Really good looking masses. There's another one right there. I mean, there's dozens of them in here. All right, guys, first perp of the day. Nice southern two-line salamander. Whoa, a little male that my brother flipped. I'm sure we're gonna see more of these guys today, so we'll let him go. So this area could potentially be habitat for wood frogs, but there is some ranted eggs in here. I think these are gonna be leopard frogs. You see they're kind of small, just a size reference next to this two line salamander. Wood frogs tend to lay those gigantic mats that hopefully we'll be able to see today, but I think these are leopard frog. All right guys, this really unsuspecting stick harbored a nice little, I think this is a red salamander. We're gonna pull him out. We're hoping for Montana's here, but this guy looks like a ruber. Definitely. Pretty good looking little chunky guy though. He actually looks a little more southern red salamander than I would expect here in the Piedmont. Here's a look at this guy. This is actually might be a female red salamander. She's got a really rotund middle section. Interestingly enough, she has that super darkened color on her face that southern reds usually have. And we should be in range of northern, so it's kind of interesting. But not what we're looking for, but always a welcome find. Nice looking red salamander. All right, guys, we're going to put this little ruber back under his kind of unsuspecting log right here and see if we can find a mud. Awesome. So that corner of the pond over there is where we saw those leopard frog, suspected leopard frog eggs. And I flipped this guy right on the other side. So pretty much confirms that we're looking at leopard frogs here. Nice southern leopard frog under this log. But gives me hope that we might can flip a wood frog if we can find a nice little vernal with lots of eggs and good logs. So anyway, southern leopard frog. We don't see these guys during the day too often, so it's kind of neat. What is it? So Micah just flipped something insanely cool, something we've never seen. These are four-toed salamanders with eggs. These guys lay their eggs here on the edge of the vernal pool like this and guard them until they hatch. And then the larvae slip off into the water. That is so cool. Day is made already with that. All right, guys. So this is super cool. Obviously, we don't want to disturb them too much. Four-toed salamanders on eggs. We're just going to try to gently put this log back, which is kind of complicated because there's so many eggs. But uh, we'll be able to do it. So we're going to replace this and keep flipping. Super fast start to the day. We've seen a lot of cool stuff already. Hopefully, we're in for a pretty good day. Try and check under the other half. Here's our next two line salamander of the day. In C2 under this log, ding and flips. <laughs> Nothing else. That much. Love it. All right, guys, Micah just flipped the usual suspects. These guys are Webster salamanders. We're in a completely different area than where we saw them a couple videos ago. But uh, always welcome find. We're probably going to see 10 million more today, so get used to it. I just flipped our second red salamander of the day under a. Another unsuspecting log. This one's much prettier. This is a beautiful one. This is a really nice little red salamander. Good sized. You can see he's got that super cool looking black face speckling that the southern red subspecies gets. Really interesting. They're southerns here and not northerns. But probably a little integration going on more than anything. But I'll put it back under his log. A very unnatural rock wall here in the woods. Super cool. Possibly Native American, but definitely a good place to be looking for basking snakes on a day like today. So under that log right there, 
I flipped Damn. our third red salamander of the day. This one's probably the darkest yet, but he's got some really cool looking spots. Super cool looking little bed of moss right here where this guy lives. But lots of red salamanders today. This is awesome. So this is an awesome little area. There's a ton of spotted salamander eggs out there. Let me zoom in on them for you. There's a couple closer to the edge here. Those actually look like they mostly hatched. But look at all of them out there. This habitat's dope. So Micah has found the creator of all... Dude, it's huge! What on earth? <laughs> it's so big! But they're really tiny. Yeah, yeah, it's not this is actually like a huge spotted salamander and really like reduced spotting too. Really cool looking. Nope. So this big salamander is actually a girl. She doesn't have that swollen cloaca. Um, she probably already laid her eggs and is moving back up into the forest here as we move into springtime, but really cool. I'm sure we'll see some more of these today, so we'll put her back under her log. And there is Ruber number four under this log in this perfect little seepage. I never would have guessed that these guys would be more common than Webster I today. Anyways, look at these eggs. These are glowing eggs. Beautiful, massive spotted salamander eggs. Awesome. Really cool little vernal pool here. And right past those spotted salamander eggs, there's actually a pair of newts mating over there. It's really crappy look at it, but that is awesome. Dude, this is such a good egg mass. It's glowing. That is amazing. Look at these little guys in there. So this is just, I, I've been staring at and photographing this thing for a while. It's just the perfect lighting to actually see these eggs as like glowing, incredible balls with little salamanders in them. It's just nuts looking. Anyways, this is a vernal pool that I haven't actually been to yet this year. Um, so these are different eggs than any of you that you've seen on the channel so far. But it's a really good little mass. Super good looking eggs. We have dramatically switched habitats now into more spring salamander type rocky flowing stuff from that swampy red salamander and mud salamander habitat. Really does not feel like we're in the Georgia Piedmont right now. This is Ruber number however many for the day. Dug this guy out of the leaf litter at the base of the waterfall over there. So there's the main waterfall over there, and I was just kind of kicking around in this little drippy stuff over here. Turned up yet another red. Really hoping to see a spring, but I don't know. I've never found him here. Well, guys. We're currently heading back to the car. It was a really good day. Um, it kind of petered out here at the end as we started moving into this different habitat that hasn't been as productive. But uh, really beautiful area and uh, somewhere I wish I spent more time and probably will try to spend more time in the future. Either way, it's been a really good day. We might still see some stuff on the way back to the car. So if we do, I will let you guys know. Good morning, everyone. It is a beautiful, early spring morning here in North Georgia. It's about 60 degrees right now, and it's forecasted to get above 70 degrees and sunny today, which means we've got some snaky weather. So I'm starting off the morning when it's a little bit cooler, kind of messing around down here with amphibians. I just turned up the first herb of the day, a nice little juvenile American bullfrog. You can barely see him because it's backlit, but flipped him under a piece of tin. I actually lied, this is a green frog. He has a dorsolateral fold that I could not see at first. That makes me feel dumb. Anyways, 
first turp of the day, hopefully not the last. I'm gonna be walking around in the swamp today, and then once it warms up a little bit more, I'm going to move to some more snaky habitat. So, anyways, first find of the day, little green frog. So last time you saw me, we did a little salamandering and it was pretty productive. Uh, none of the big targets were found, but we did see a lot of cool stuff in a new area that I hadn't spent much time before. And today we're kind of going to be doing the opposite. I'm really just trying to get some kind of snake on the board today because this is definitely the best opportunity I've had in North Georgia so far this year. I think it's going to be nice and warm today. I'm not really expecting to see anything down here in the lowlands. I'm just looking for salamanders while it warms up, but it's kind of cool right here. There's a little evidence of recent beaver activity. You see these chewed on sticks. Look at that, that's so gnarly. There's tons of them in here too. Anyways, I just figured I'd show that because it's interesting. This guy's absolutely chewed all the bark off these sticks. Relatively recently too. Just flipped our first salamander of the day. There's a little two-line salamander without a tail. That's a kind of ridiculous looking little guy. Looks relatively recently chomped off too. I'm gonna let him back to his log, but uh, interesting. <laughs> Another interesting non-herp observation. I was kind of checking out the creek bottom to see how it looked for turtles. Actually, it looks pretty good through here. This guy right here is one of the reasons why. This is a freshwater mussel. We have tons of these guys in the southeast. A lot of them are actually endangered. I don't have any idea what species this is. It's one of the more common ones we see around here, I think. But anyways, mussels like this are one of the main food items of the large turtles, like alligator snapping turtles that live in these creeks. So when you're seeing an abundance of those, generally means you're in a good area. Ladies and gentlemen, we have turtles in abundance. It looks like these are all sliders. There might be a cooter or painted turtle mixed in there, but tons of turtles hanging out in this little area. So the only one that didn't jump in the water is in fact a cooter. Let's see if I can see if I can zoom in on him a little bit for you guys. You can see he's got those really prominent stripes on his face. That's how we can tell this is a cooter and not a slider. But good looking turtle. There's a bunch more in the water. I think those are mostly sliders. This is more typical habitat for sliders and cooters. Um, but they do tend to mingle a little bit in ponds. We're right next to a creek too, which is more typical cooter habitat. Anyways, I'm out in Metro Atlanta today, really hoping to see some snakes. Obviously, I die to see a king snake um but that's a little bit high expectations that one turtle's just a bro i thought that was spotted salamander eggs at first it's not it's just some sort of growth in the water algae anyways it feels great out here and it's supposed to get even warmer so i'm gonna get after it i didn't hang out in the swamp too long today because i really wanted to get over here to this creek habitat and try to find some snakes and turtles so we'll see how this goes Boys, I see a snake. I have no idea what kind it is, but he's in that crack. You can kind of make out his nose right there. I'm leaning rat snake, but I'm gonna try to just not mess with him and come back and hope he's further out. He sucked his head back, but I'm relatively confident that uh, if I come back by a little bit later in the day, he's either gonna be basking here or hanging out somewhere in this area. Look like a rat snake though. Snakes are out though. That is what is important. Snakes are going to be out today and I'm optimistic about the rest of the day after seeing that at least. Well, it isn't much, but it's a look at a rat snake. <laughs> it took forever to get my camera to focus. There's actually two in this crack. My strategy is going to be to leave them alone and come back later and hope they're out, so. Another really good sign. There's a nice little Eastern fence lizard basking right here. What's up, buddy? Nice, handsome male. I think I've seen this guy before. I've seen fence lizards in this little area on multiple occasions, but he's just chilling, soaking up some sun. Um, I'm gonna leave him to it and keep moving and hope that there's a king snake out somewhere doing the same. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a snake sitting there, a queen snake. Heck yeah. 
I'm gonna get a photo and then get a little closer. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay over the sound of the water. Um, I'm just sitting here watching this snake right now and being excited, taking it all in. I mean, I've seen a lot of snakes already this year, but this is the first time I found a snake close to home this year without having to really exert myself. It's just, spring is here. I mean, this is, this is the moment I wait for every year where I see my first snake close to home without just absolutely having to tear myself up trying. Um, I'm just enjoying this moment. I'm gonna try to just get in C2 photos of this snake, but I think when I get closer, he's gonna dip and we'll get a better look at him and I'll catch him. But uh, if he just sits there, we'll just look at him as he is. You can see how much, I mean, the snake's right there. He looks just like a root. These queen snakes are perfectly camouflaged for this creekside habitat. So we're gonna get a little bit closer. I'm gonna try to get some more pictures, but really awesome. Healthy queen snake. First snake that we've gotten a good look at today. Came around to get another angle. This guy is super chill, just relaxing. Doesn't seem to be too bothered by my presence, so I'm gonna try to respect that and not bother him. I'm gonna get a couple quick photos and we're gonna leave this guy right here. This guy's a bro. He's not concerned about me sitting here looking at him at all. This is awesome. I love it when snakes are just completely content with me sitting here looking at him, taking pictures, and I don't have to touch him at all. What a guy. Well, we're just gonna leave you right there. You look almost a little too content to be sitting out in the open like this. Hopefully the birds around here aren't very smart, but uh, you're not gonna be bothered by me today, so I'm just gonna leave him right there, and we're gonna see what else we can turn up. Peace out, bro. Enjoy your day. <laughs> Don't get eaten. So either I'm dumb or the snakes are dumb. I think I'm dumb and the snakes are dumb both, but I just walked right past a water snake right here and he didn't jump in the water or anything. It must just be that perfect temperature today that the snakes are content. He's actually pretty hard to see, but it must just be that time of day where the snakes are content. You can actually still see the queen snake way over there. But the temperature today must just be perfect for these guys to just be content to sit in the sun. This guy right here is a Midland water snake. These guys are definitely a little more skittish than queen snakes. So it's even more surprising that this guy is chill to be sitting here uh, with me this close to him. I'm, I'm definitely thankful these guys are super chill and uh, content to let me look at them without jumping in the water or making me catch them. So. Anyways, nice looking Midland water snake. I, I guess we're gonna be seeing probably plenty more of these guys today, which is awesome. So I'm gonna leave him right there and keep moving. So this unsuspecting black tarp was uh, really good last time I was out here. So we'll see if there's anybody using it today. I'm gonna be really surprised if there's not given how many snakes we saw in it the first time I checked it. Oh, nice. Brown snake. Awesome. Oh, and a redback. And a scorpion. All together. What on earth? So this kind of unsuspecting rock had our next snake of the day and that redback that's in a hole. But really great color on this guy. Really beautiful little decayed brown snake. I'm going to have to pull him and the redback out to put this rock back. But uh, really cool flip. I'm glad I got it on camera. I always love seeing such colorful examples of these guys. Really great. Awesome. I'm gonna put them back. There he goes. Guys, this tarp is no joke. The first time I ever flipped it, we got several red-bellied snakes and a worm snake. And now we just flipped a red bellied and a brown snake next to each other. What on earth? It's actually obscene how snaky this little tarp is. 
to flip both Steraria side by side is not terribly uncommon, but it's always cool. If you can't tell, these two species are quite closely related. They're in the same genus. But anyways, two nice uh, brown snakes in this little area. Brown snake was under that rock too. And a little red belly. And we still have a couple more yards of tarp to flip, so this is awesome. I missed the flip because I wasn't expecting anything to be under it, and I was proven wrong yet again. A worm snake this time, just a little bit further down. This guy is not in the best shape. Looks like he needs a shed. A lot of the worm snakes we get early season are like this, but but that's three species of fossorial snake right here next to each other. Really cool. I'm gonna put this guy back. All right, let's see if this tarp is good for anything else. You would think it would almost have to be. All right, I'm making my way back the other direction. This guy's still here. I'm just gonna walk past and uh, I don't see our, yeah, our queen snake's still there too. Cool. There's our boy. Just chilling. So out there, there's a cooter about to come out of the water. Of course, my phone's not gonna focus on it, but you can see him through there. And then right here, somewhere, there he is. Had to find him again, is our next snake of the day. I honestly don't know what that is. It's definitely an Erodia, but I don't know what species. I'm gonna try to sneak up on him and get a picture. So that actually, there's two snakes right here. There's that one, and then right there, all I can see is scales. I have no idea what that guy is right there. They're probably both Nerodia, but I honestly don't know. And uh, I'm not close enough to tell at this point. And they weren't out earlier either, so. So I definitely think one of these is a plain-bellied water snake. I'm not sure about the other one yet. I can still barely see them. I changed angles. I don't even see one of them now. These things are pretty... <sighs> there might be more snakes here than that even. I see one now that I'm not even sure was one of the original ones I saw through there. Oh, that one dipped. That one's still there. I think there were three snakes here, and I think two of them dipped. I think they're all plain bellied water snakes. That one's definitely a plain belly. And the one that slid in was definitely a plain belly. That might, that's definitely the same one we saw earlier. So I guess that one that slid in was also a plain belly and we're just at a different angle. Oh, there he goes too. I might can get that one still. We got a half decent look at him. So I took another step and a racer crawled out from underneath the stuff I was standing on basically. So who knows how many snakes are right here? I sure don't. I think the hole is right here. The racer and the uh, Nerodia both went right there. But geez, how many snakes were right here? I think there were actually four right here. That's nuts. So there were no less than three snakes right there. Two Erythriaster and one racer. And that brings our snake total up to the day to kind of crazy. I mean, I really was, I was expecting to maybe see a snake or two today, but we have been kind of cleaning it up out here. We haven't seen anything crazy, but the numbers have been amazing for, for what it is at least. So I'm gonna keep at it and see what else we can turn up. All right, I'm currently approaching where we saw our first couple snakes of the day, the two rat snakes. Um, really hoping they're gonna be out basking in the sun this go round, but we're gonna see so this is where they were and i don't see anybody back out it's been a couple hours slider alert really big old melanistic yellow-bellied slider I've seen plenty of these guys today but most of them aren't close enough i can even record them at all This is a super nice little area that I haven't hit yet today. So hopefully it'll produce something for us. 
All right, guys, we're back to basking turtle land. There were more, but they jumped in, but there's still a ton of them out there. But uh, anyways, I'm probably gonna wrap this video up here. I'm gonna be getting out again tomorrow with Micah, and we're gonna go look for snakes and salamanders in a familiar, but also still pretty new area and see how it goes. But anyways, I'm glad we got to wrap this video up with a couple snakes today. Really, a lot of snakes, but for the most part, we didn't get the best look at a lot of them. Um, just due to the situations they were in, but it's not the end of the world. I had a really great time today. I mean, it's really, it's really the first day of the year that I've been able to get out and find snakes uh, with ease in a uh, in an area that is really close to home, and that's a big deal because that means it's going to be easy for me to get out basically any day um, of the week just for a little bit. But anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.